My name is Domenico Stefani. I'm also from the University of Trento, and I'm going to present my work on, uh, which is titled On the Challenges of Embedded Real-Time Music Information Retrieval. I know it's a mouthful, but we can break down the title in multiple uh, elements, starting from music information retrieval. Now, uh, we all uh, more or less know that this is a big research field that encompasses the research that leads to applications such as beat detection, ons detection, mix music transcription, and more. Uh, also, we know that uh, reading the literature, research in this area is mainly focused on offline methods. Uh, that, that's fair. A lot of tasks only require offline uh, uh, Run, uh, running offline these, these algorithms uh, on large data sets on uh, pre-recorded also audio, um, entire pieces of music or, or phrases or only notes. Uh, also, there are no tight constraints in offline execution on execution time. Uh, we need it to complete execution, but there are no tight time constraints. However, there is also the uh, subfield of uh, real-time music information retrieval that focuses on real-time execution and uh, as most of you work in uh, real-time audio in some sense, uh, we know that this is good because we can use uh, these kind of algorithms uh, for the development of uh, music performance tools such as musical instruments, smart musical instruments or compact music performance tools. Now, uh, uh, one, this is one of the reasons why real-time applications of music uh, information retrieval have been coming up in the latest years. And also, we uh, add another thing, that is the possibility of using uh, modern embedded computers. We have seen a rise in uh, different uh, multiple uh, platforms, embedded platforms that are powerful, uh, more powerful every year, and also platforms uh, that are uh, geared toward audio and music. Uh, but also combining these kind of uh, constraints of real-time execution and execution of limited uh, resource-constrained devices, such as embedded computers, offers uh, very challenges. And the, the issue is that we need to make these algorithms accurate and also fast. So uh, basically, uh, what we couldn't find that I wish I had when I started out was a paper that identifies the main challenges of developing these kind of systems and also proposes various solutions to these challenges. And this is what we did. And also, uh, after proposing these various so uh, solutions, we took uh, some of the, the ones that most applies to our case, and we implemented uh, an embedded real-time classifier uh, to demonstrate the, valid the validity of some of those. So uh, quickly, the, some of the challenges, and they might seem very, very uh, easy, but even when you start out, uh, when you start, they're very, um, you know, you need to know about this. Obviously, we have in real-time only the availability of causal information, so we only have information about the past basically. So if we want to know, uh, extract something about a node, we would like to have it on the application side right when the node starts, but that is not possible. We have only information at the time about the past. So what we need to do, obviously, is to uh, gather a, a larger analysis window of the signal, which introduces uh, latency in our uh, delivery of the results. Also, uh, this uh, also introduces uh, some kind of trade-off between accuracy and latency. We can gather a longer analysis window, but that means, uh, obviously, it means introducing more latency. Uh, in most cases, this also increases the accuracy of uh, whatever task we are trying to accomplish. Also, um, th this trade-off comes on when using different types of algorithms, machine learning or DSP or um, deep neural networks, uh, but it also influences the um, this is also an issue when uh, thinking about the audio processing deadlines that we need to take into account when developing a real-time system. Uh, and also, when developing a real-time system for audio, we need to take into account what are the real-time safety programming rules. So we don't want to uh, allocate memory. We don't want to wait on low-priority threads. And that is something to consider also in this kind of music information retrieval uh, field. Uh, also, uh, there are uh, limitations uh, given by the embedded hardware and software uh, that runs on these kind of uh, devices that are different depending on which type of embedded hardware we are trying to use. We can have raspberries, or we can have devices with GPUs, or we can have TPUs, and, and way more. So basically what we did, and I'm, I'm not spoiling the potential solutions, we can come to the poster later, but we discussed several solutions, and some that are not really solutions, there are trade-offs that we need to be aware of. Uh, and discuss this, and uh, um, mainly 
After this, we did uh, what I said before, we implemented a real-time classifier. In our case, it was a real-time embedded expressive guitar technique classifier, so a system that is able to um, retrieve, recognize the expressive technique that a guitar player is using, such as bending the strings, muting the strings, and even percussive techniques on the acoustic guitar. And this was used as a demonstration of some of the solutions and their, their, their uh, validity, since we are able to achieve a high accuracy in detecting and distinguishing some of these techniques uh, and a low latency of classification, which is needed to then repurpose this information in real time to, for example, uh, resynthesize new audio that follows what we are playing on the guitar. So that is it for me. Please come to the poster session. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>